I spent the past couple of weeks testing the top 10 AI tools of 2025. And let me tell you, some of them blew me away and some honestly felt like overhyped toys. I went hands-on with everything. AI that builds websites in minutes, tools that run your meetings for you, voice changers that turn you into Taylor Swift, even full-blown video generators that can edit content while you sleep. No sponsorships, no sugarcoating, just me testing them out so you don't waste time or money on the wrong ones. All right, so the first tool I tested was Grok AI. Most of you probably already know it. It's built right into X, formerly Twitter. Basically, this is Elon Musk's answer to ChatGPT. Like, you know, Musk wasn't going to sit back and just watch OpenAI run the show, so here we are. Now, what really stood out to me? Grok's ability to actually reason through prompts. And I don't mean giving you a half-baked answer and telling you to rephrase your question. No, this thing actually works through tough logic. I tested it against Claude and Perplexity, and Grok handled the heavy stuff better. Math, logic puzzles, even scientific reasoning. It's got these two modes, think and big brain. Sounds like a gimmick, right? But honestly, it digs deeper. If you're a developer, you'll like Grok Studio. It's like having a coding canvas built right in. I could write, test, and tweak without jumping across tabs. And then there's deeper search. It pulls live info from the web and X. I literally asked, why is gold value soaring? And it gave me trending takes. Though, yeah, it took almost three minutes, which felt slow. Now, heads up, the UX feels clunky compared to ChatGPT or Gemini, and here's the catch. Full access needs an X Premium Plus subscription. So if you're not into Twitter, I'm sorry, X, that's a deal breaker. But if you're technical or you live on X anyway, Grok is worth trying. All right, the next tool I tested was Wix. Now, it's been around forever as one of the biggest website builders. But what caught me off guard this time was just how much the AI side has leveled up. So here's how it works. You basically just tell it what kind of site you want, like I'm a photographer or I need an online store and Wix's AI goes bam, full draft website. I'm talking about layout, text blocks, images, even a basic logo if you want. When I tested it, I literally typed a few prompts and within minutes, I had a working draft site. The trick here is that the clearer your prompt, the better the site looks and the editing, super easy drag and drop everything, move sections, swap images, rewrite text with their AI text generator. I even tested it by rewriting my homepage bio and it instantly adjusted the design around it. That part felt pretty slick. Now, don't expect total creative freedom right out of the gate. The templates feel a little structured and if you need hardcore backend control, Wix isn't it. But for freelancers, solo creators, or small businesses, it's basically an all-in-one. Payments, SEO tools, email campaigns, even booking systems are built in. And yeah, there's a free plan, but if you want custom domains or e-commerce, premium starts at around 17 pounds a month. Honestly, for anyone who doesn't want to hire a developer, Wix AI is a lifesaver. Next up, I tested GoDaddy. Now, I know what you're thinking. GoDaddy? That's the place you buy domains, right? Yeah, that's how most of us know it. But I was honestly surprised to see how far they've gone with their AI website builder. It's not just about grabbing a domain anymore. It's an entire business-first platform. Here's how it works. You answer a few questions about your business. Say you're a real estate agent, a photographer, or running a wellness studio. And GoDaddy's AI spits out a full website tailored to that category. Layouts, pre-filled text, basic branding, all set up instantly. And for small businesses or solo projects, that's a lifesaver because you're not stuck tweaking pixels or designing from scratch. What really stood out for me was the marketing angle. GoDaddy isn't just about the site, it's about helping you sell. I could generate logos, social captions, even email campaigns right inside the platform. Need a book now button? Just describe it and boom, it's added. Now, it's not as customizable as Wix or open-ended builders. You do hit some design limits. 
and the free plan only gives you a single page, which feels restrictive. But for $9.99 a month with payments, booking, email, and e-commerce baked in, it's a solid start for entrepreneurs who just want everything under one roof. Honestly, if you're building a site to sell, GoDaddy is way more powerful than I expected. Next on my list was Fireflies.ai, and this one is for all of you drowning in meetings. It's an AI meeting assistant that literally joins your calls, records everything, and spits out searchable transcripts and summaries. So here's what I did. I tested it on both team calls and one-on-ones. Honestly, I was impressed. It nailed speaker identification way better than I expected and even broke the conversations into topics like pricing or next steps. When the meeting ended, the full summary just showed up in my inbox, neatly organized with highlights and action items. The best part is the automation. You don't have to invite it every time. If you're on Zoom, Meet, or Teams, Fireflies just pops in, records, and gets to work. I also tried the Chrome extension, and that's handy for Google Meet. It gave me a live transcript sidebar right during the call so I could follow along without waiting until the end. And the Ask Fred feature? Game changer. I literally typed, what did Alex say about onboarding? And it pulled the exact line from the transcript. Now, it's not perfect. If people talk over each other or the audio's bad, the summaries need a bit of editing. And yeah, the mobile app feels limited. But for $10 per user per month with integrations into Slack, Notion, and even Salesforce, it's more than worth it. If your team runs on endless calls, Fireflies basically turns them into instant searchable knowledge. Moving forward, the next tool I tested was Murph.ai. And if you've ever needed voiceovers, whether for videos, ads, or podcasts, this one's honestly a lifesaver. It's one of the most popular AI voice generators out there, and I can see why. The first thing I noticed, the voices don't sound robotic. They actually have intonation, emotion, and natural pacing that make them feel like a real person is talking. I tested a couple of different languages, English and Spanish, and even switched between accents. The flexibility here is insane. What I really liked was the customization. You can tweak pitch, speed, and volume, or swap between male and female voices depending on the vibe you're going for. For one test, I slowed a voice down just slightly, and it instantly sounded like a professional narrator instead of an ad. That's how precise the controls are. Pricing-wise, it's pay-per-use. You get a free trial with 5,000 characters to test things out, and after that, plans start at $29 a month, or $19 if you go yearly. It's not dirt cheap, but... If you're a creator, freelancer, or business that constantly needs content, the quality pays for itself. All right, so the next tool I tested was Play.ht, another text-to-speech platform, but a little different in how it's set up. If you've ever just needed to turn a block of text into audio quickly, this one is probably the simplest way to do it. Here's what I liked, the ease of use. I literally copied and pasted my text, picked a voice and language, hit generate, and boom, audio file done. No complicated setup, no extra steps. It's super straightforward, which makes it perfect if you just want results fast. You also get some customization options, speed, pitch, male or female voices, multiple languages. I played around with the pitch, and it actually gave the same text a completely different feel. That was fun to test. But here's where it's a bit hit or miss. While the voices are solid for shorter pieces, when I pushed it with longer text, some outputs started sounding a little robotic. Not terrible, just not fully natural. And if you need super specific accents or unique speech patterns, Play.ht doesn't always nail that. Pricing-wise, they've got a free plan with 5,000 words, which is a nice start. Paid plans begin at around $39 a month or $29 if you go yearly. So bottom line, Play.ht is efficient and cost-effective if you need quick, clean text-to-speech. But if you're chasing supernatural or niche voices, Murph might edge it out. All right, moving on. I tested Lovo.ai, which is another text-to-speech tool, but this one leans heavily on emotion and expressiveness, and honestly, that's what makes it stand out. So here's the deal. 
like Murph or Play.ht, you type in your script, pick a voice, and let it generate. But where Lovo really surprised me was in how natural the voice felt. They weren't just reading the words. They had actual inflection, like stress and emotion, in the right places. When I tested it for an e-learning style narration, it sounded less robotic and more like a teacher explaining something. For a podcast intro, I switched the tone to more upbeat, and it actually carried the energy pretty well. Customization is there, too. You can tweak tone, speed, and emphasis to really shape how the voice comes out. I found that with a little bit of fine-tuning, the results got even closer to sounding like a real human speaker. Pricing starts at $25 a month, or $19 if you go annually, and they give you a 14-day free trial to test it. That's a big plus, because honestly, performance can vary depending on what text you feed it. Overall, Lovo feels like a great pick if you care about expressiveness. It's not just voice generation. It's about making the voice feel alive. The next tool I played around with was HitPaw Voice Changer, and this one was actually a lot of fun to test. It's a real-time AI voice changer, which means you can hop on Discord, Twitch, Zoom, or whatever, and instantly sound like someone else. I threw it into a few different setups, gaming, streaming, even a mock Zoom call, and the results were pretty wild. HitPaw comes with over 100 effects, so you can flip your voice into a robot, a demon, a chipmunk, or, if you're feeling brave, Donald Trump or Taylor Swift. Yeah, it has celebrity voices built into the library, and they're shockingly accurate at times. One feature I didn't expect was the AI music generator. You can literally type in a vibe or a genre, and it spits out royalty-free tracks for you to use. For content creators, that's a nice bonus, because it means you don't have to hunt for background music elsewhere. It's not perfect. If you're looking for deep customization or the most advanced AI voices, you might find it a little limited compared to dedicated voice changers. But for gamers, VTubers, or streamers who just want to spice things up in real time, HitPaw gets the job done and makes it fun. The ninth tool I tested was Brandwatch, and this one is built more for businesses than individuals. If you've ever wanted to know what people are really saying about your brand online, this is the kind of tool that digs into it. The social listening is on another level. Brandwatch scans millions of conversations across tons of platforms, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, forums, even blogs, and pulls it all together. When I tested it, I could actually see how people were talking about a brand in real time across different languages and regions. That was impressive. The second thing I liked was the sentiment analysis. It doesn't just show mentions. It tells you if people are happy, angry, or neutral. That means businesses can jump in fast when negative feedback pops up or lean into positive buzz before it fades. On top of that, Brandwatch gives you performance analytics, things like engagement, reach, and long-term trends. So it's not just about listening. It's about learning what's working and what isn't. Now, this is definitely a tool for companies, not casual creators. There's a free trial, but... For premium plans, you'll need to contact them directly. Bottom line, if online reputation matters to your business, Brandwatch is like having eyes and ears everywhere. All right, so the last tool I tested was Deep Brain. And honestly, this one feels like a glimpse of the future of video creation. It's an AI-powered video generator that basically does all the heavy lifting for you. Here's how it works. You pick a template, say you're making a marketing video, an educational explainer, or just social media content. Then you add in your text, maybe drop in some images, and Deep Brain takes over. It builds a storyboard, edits your clips, adds transitions, music, even animations. By the end, you've got a polished video without touching a timeline or editing software. When I tested it, what stood out was how easy it was to customize fonts, color, styles, Everything could be tweaked to match branding. I could swap music, adjust text overlays, and even pick different visual effects. For someone who doesn't want to spend hours on Premiere or Final Cut, that's a big deal. And it's not just about creating. It also gives you analytics. You can track engagement, view counts, and click-through rates right from the dashboard. So you actually know it's working. So after running through all 10, here's the takeaway. Some tools are 
perfect if you're a solo creator. Some are better if you're running a business. And if you are just plain fun to mess with. The big lesson? Don't grab a tool because it's trending. Grab the one that actually fits your workflow. Now, I want to hear from you. Which one of these would you actually use? Drop it in the comments. And of course, if you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe because I've got more such videos like this one coming up. So, see you in the next one.